Alright guys, sorry for a bit more of a chill video today, but it's gonna be a bit different. I'm gonna be discussing some transactions that are active for week 4. The reason I'm doing this today, instead of just putting in next video or the video after that, is because somebody finally came to their senses about how only having 3 days to edit, if you do a battle on Sunday, might be a little too little time. Which, I know is a call out, and I know that's uncalled for, but I think it's deserved. All I'm saying. But, I still wanted to get something out in this week gap, and I already made these transactions, and so, here they are. As for why I did them, I looked at all eight of my weeks going forward or all the rest of them. So weeks three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's six weeks for this season that are left. And Shaman Sky does not come to a single one of those, except maybe one, but fucking Thwacky is better in that matchup. Won't discuss which one, but that's just what I'm saying. So I was like, this is a waste of 19 points. I effectively have a fucking 111 point team instead of a 131. So I decided to do something about that. And unfortunately, it cost Hariyama the spot on this team, which I am really sad about. Really liked Hariyama. Hariyama was a pretty good Terra Captain if you ask me, but I feel like Rabombi is just a better Terra Captain, which, yep, we made Rabombi and Thwacky Terra Captains. Didn't have enough points to make Zorua a Terra Captain, but it doesn't really matter, and Mianxia was too expensive to be a Terra Captain, so this is our new team. We got Magirna, Raging Bolt, Lando T, Mianxia, Rotom Heat, DOD, Quillfish, Rabombi, Dunsparce, Thwacky, Zora, Hisui, and Xi'an Pao. I think our team is pretty good now, like, was pretty good before. And now I think it has a lot more versatility because the Terra, my Terra Captain is actually versatile. This was a problem I had with the initial team that I wasn't really confident about, but I was like, I have such a top-heavy team, it probably won't matter. But looking at my opponent's prep, like, nobody's respecting Shaman Sky with Covert Cloak anyway, so it's just like, I can't do shit. Like, the Shaman Sky isn't being respected, which is like the only reason why I put it on this team, because I thought I can hazard stack by forcing Covert Cloak, and I can just start setting up my shit and win, right? But nobody's doing that anyway, so I might as well just have knockoff there. Stab CC, more offensive momentum, which is always great. This team is already very momentum heavy. And now it's even more momentum heavy, which I love with Magirna Pal. So that now we have, a, I think a lot more of a well-structured team than we had before. It's a lot more U-turn, Volt turning, which is just something I'm more comfy with. And my grass type, while it is still offensive, it isn't it isn't so, like, luck-reliant, which... Luck-reliant and the non covert cloak reliant like, Because... Well, Shaman Sky was able to force cover cloak before, that just didn't, like... Didn't really force it as much as it did, just kinda like... Oh, this is recommended, but it isn't by any means required. And that kinda sucks. When it's 19 points for a mon I can't rely on to do its job well. So I picked up Mian Shell because of that. Because I just saw it was still on the board, gives us a bit more speed, kind of closes that gap between Rabombi and Lando T, which I would have, which was really nice. And I was looking at so many other options for Terra Captains, but having a speed gap between Xi'an Pao and Lando T, while I don't traditionally care about speed gaps that much, I still feel like I should have two Mons at least over base 110, especially in an Uber meta like this. I don't want. Lando T to be my basically my only Pokemon faster than the majority of the meta, so I like having fast fairy and Ubers, which is always great. And while it is double fairy, it Rabombi 
Terra's so it, I like having the defensive fairy, not defensive, but bulky fairy in Magirna. It's not really defensive, but I still have fallback for dragons if I decide to Terra, and double fairy offense in a dragon heavy meta never hurt anyone, you know. Like I, I already have Shienpa, Magirna, now Rabombi, Dragon should be scared, and a bunch of dragons are Ubers. Now, in terms of the Ubers will be fighting, are they dragons? Some of them are. The important matchup is. Won't say which one the important matchup is, but whoever you are, if you looked at your schedule, and if you look at my schedule, you know what it is. But will anyone do that deep dive? Probably, now that I provoked them to. Who knows? Don't care. At this point, really. I just wanted a better team. This is our better team. And hopefully we can not be as inconsistent as we've been. I believe I can do better with this team. But it's all just up to me to do it at that point, you know? But anyway, I'll see you guys for week three next week. I have some fun plans in terms of editing that, so should be cool. Bye-bye.